All right, so today I'm doing a little bit of drone jazz. I'm hoping the audio is good and sharp. I got the old Mavic Pro 2 set up over there, and I'm gonna do some drone photography um, of San Anselmo today. So this is gonna be a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, hopefully I get some cool stuff. A lot of people like drone footage. It's cool, it's cinematic, and gives a perspective on the story that you're trying to tell. It has a lofty feel. You're soaring around and capturing some awesome imagery, but that does get old after a while. So my deal was I wanted to practice aerial photography and better develop my skill set. From the intro, you can already tell that I'm a huge fan of video work, but in particular, I love aerial cinematography. This time around though, I wanted to get into the nitty gritty of aerial photography. I was tasked with shooting some architectural shots of Sant Anselmo. So my client wanted great timeless pieces showing lush greenery, the city around the structure, and overall pieces that we could use over and over in the future. So diving into the nitty gritty, I shot my images as raw files since that gave me all that crispy detail in post to soup up everything. Once I configured my camera settings, I had three main goals. Composition, style, and lighting. I wanted to really kill the lighting on this one. So when I focused on composition, aka what looked good in the shot, um, I was focusing on the building itself. I had a rough start at this at first, but overall I took my time with flying around and got all sorts of angles where I could choose some pretty amazing stuff. So when I looked at it at the end, I had a really diverse mix of photos to choose from. The style was honestly really subjective since my client in the end just wanted photos that felt good. He almost wanted like a sense of relief when looking at them, like a feeling of ah. I brought on my expert second spotter, uh, David Stockman for the fun. Uh, here we are kind of talking about what we did in the shoot and also I would have totally crashed if he wasn't around. So here's some of his pro tips and just the overall fun we had on today's shoot. So the thing that's <laughs> The thing that Tom had to mention is that second spotter is actually a lot more important than it sounds. <laughs> Wait, so really, yeah, yeah. check it out, you know, Google it, whatever you gotta do, but second spotter is like the thing that makes the drone fly, more or less, you know? You gotta make sure without a second spotter, you, the drone malfunctions, there's technology breakdowns, and the other thing is, <laughs> I can go today, crash. today, you today, today, today. <laughs> you can crash. <laughs> and the other thing that was today was, there were seagulls like I'd never seen before. We were trying to attack well, the drone. Well, I mean, I hadn't seen it before because it's my first time doing the drone, but <laughs> <laughs> the, the seagulls were coming in like this, and I thought they were going to try to eat the drone, which would not it would not work out very well. Yeah, I think it would have the drone would have won. Yeah. But that's where the spotter is super key. It's pivotal. It requires someone with a level head, you know, someone that can really maintain focus when you got all this excitement, this drama of this drone flying around snapping, you know? Yeah, it's yeah intensity. Intensity. it's intensity, that's a better word. It's so, intense. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna cut to some cool cinematics, and, uh, David Stock. Thanks. Alright, dude, hit it, man. It's great, bro. <laughs> Thank you. 